Everything I do, I do for best. Everything I do, I do for best. Some may think birds not much, but they like his gentle touch. So everything I do. Hello, this is Bert Newton. Welcome to the show. It's good to have you with us. Very soon, we're going across to Riverside in Connecticut to a lady called Letrus Joy. Um, I'd, like to, I'd like to paint the picture of Letrus Joy. She was a, a very successful and a very famous silent screen star in Hollywood. Some of the films in which she starred, and I would assume that most of us uh, this morning would not remember uh, a lot of them, a Dollar Bid, Manhunter, Miracle Man, Invisible Man, Blind Youth, Just a Wife, The Right of Way, Bunty Pulls the Strings, The Ten Commandments, she was in, Triumph, Saturday Night, The Dressmaker from Paris. She's a lady who started in, uh, in motion pictures very early in the century at uh, an hour a now long-forgotten film company called the Nola Film Company. She made a lot of films with Cecil B. DeMille. She still travels, I believe, and lectures at colleges. She is at least 80 years of age. She lives in Riverside in Connecticut, in what is described in my notes as a beautiful cottage on the water. She uh, is a very handsomely featured woman. I have a, uh, what I consider, or I would suggest is a reasonably uh, recent photograph of her. She's a fine-looking woman. I also have a photograph of her as, uh, as a 21-year-old star of the silver screen, and she was a very, very beautiful lady. She was married to John Gilbert at one stage. She has a daughter by him. She uh, has also uh, been married to a gentleman called Spencer Hook and Arthur Westermark, whom I as uh, assume have, uh, have passed on, as has indeed John Gilbert. He died back in, uh, in the 30s. She was married to John Gilbert, the most famous of her husbands, from 1920 to 1924. And John Gilbert is the man uh, who a lot of people suggest had his film career finished by the, by the uh, arrival of talkies, by the arrival of sound in Hollywood. Uh, a lot of people suggest that his voice just wasn't good enough for the motion picture industry. We'll see what, uh, what his wife, Letrus Joy, feels about this, if we, can, if we can get to that subject in the interview. It's been suggested to me by my Hollywood office that, um, that does sound big deal, doesn't it? It's been suggested by our booker in Hollywood that she is a delightful woman and that I'm going to enjoy every moment of speaking with her. So I'm looking forward to, uh, to touch phoning through right now to Letrus Joy uh, in Riverside, Connecticut, where she lives in a beautiful cottage on the water. And I'm pleased to say that, uh, that on the line, uh, at last, we have from Riverside in Connecticut... Miss Letrus Joy. Good morning, Miss Joy. Yes, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I say good morning, but of course, uh, at your end of the line, it's afternoon. Oh, that's quite true. That's quite true. I know I had that trouble calling my grandchildren in California. They say, Granny, it's in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of grandchildren, I believe that you're going to a very important party later in the day. Well, no, it's not a... Well, it is a party, exactly, but it's a family party. It's, it's another one of my grandsons. It's a grandson. And he is, believe it or not, he's 24. And uh, his name is Christopher. And he's, he's in uh, Boston studying law. And I'm very happy about it. Very, very happy about it. Tell me, did you know Louise Lovely, or did you ever hear of Louise Lovely? You know, she was a very dear friend of mine, and she played in many of my pictures with William Farnham. Yes, well, she is living in Tasmania, which is one of our states here in Australia. It's an island off the mainland, and she is living in Tasmania. Oh, is it? oh she is? Mm-hmm. Well, I thought maybe, you know, the other night I ran manslaughter for the few guests that I had, and... Uh, I'm down to survive. I'm the only survivor of the whole cast. <laughs> Sometimes it gets a little eerie, you know. Uh. Yes, uh, to see that they, they show them so late at night anyway. But um, 
uh, I didn't uh, get in touch with her. I hadn't heard from Louise, oh, in years and years and years. But she was so adorable and so perfectly beautiful and so loyal to Australia. She just loved us there. Miss Joy, what were those years like, those early years in Hollywood? You must have some wonderful memories. Well, of course, when I was there, you see, I arrived in uh, Hollywood uh, in 1916. Well, that's an awful long time ago. And it was, a, it was just a sleeping village.